Okay, how's it going, everybody? This is Trainer Connor, and it's time for another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle video. If you enjoy this, hit that like button and subscribe. I appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. You thought you were not awesome? Think again, because I said you're awesome. So, anyway, so hope you guys are having a great week. We are having another awesome match, and this time I'm using a new team. You see, I'm using Incineroar. I've been using Primarina for a little while there. Um, so I'm going to be using the Fire-type starter, Incineroar. And to pair up with Incineroar, you guys, I'm going to be kind of tweaking different members and just trying to see who is better with and without. I don't know. But I'm going to be using, for this particular battle only, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to be using um, Kilgeo. So Kilgeo, it had a weird set on it before, but then I changed it from when I was using it in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I use a Twist Specs on this one now. Uh, it used to have Conk and uh, some thing weird like that. I call mine also. So I kind of scrapped it all together. Made a choice specs. So it has Icy Wing, Secret Sword, Hydro Pump, and Scald. Um, and then we have a Muscle Banded uh, Incineroar. I don't want to go Banded because locking yourself into one move, it might be beneficial, but in the long run, it's better to kind of alternate and surprise your opponent. Because this is a more offensively orientated uh, Incineroar there. So then we have, I believe this is my defensive Zapdos and also Shiny. So Shiny Zapdos ready to punch in some holes if I need him to. Just like Kelly. Um, and then we have a Shiny Hasteris also. I got a little bit of Shiny stuff going on here. But Shiny Hasteris I got from Toshiro from way back in the day. When I started Wi-Fi battling, um, so it has Dragon Dance, has the Lumberry. I kind of like to tweak with the Lumberry or the Focus Sash. Either one of those is fine, but Lumberry. Could give it a shot here, and then Deancey, I'm not going to go Mega, or <laughs> not me going Mega. <laughs> um, Deancey is not going Mega. I don't have the Mega Stone for that yet. And then Defensive Rosemary. My opponent has kind of a weak team on the ice, like if you have an ice type Pokemon, it's not going to be really good. I'm, I'm going to say that right now. He has Pikachu, he's got Crobat, he's got Gliscor, which I hate facing, by the way. So, Gliscor, let's go with the Icy Wind and knock him out right away. Let's see if we can do that. Because I hate facing that thing. Uh, he has Buzzwool. Of course, Buzzwool is a Ultra Beast. Um, Superior, of course, you guys saw it. You see Superior ever so often, just because of its ability, Contrary, raises its special attack instead of lowering when you're using Leaf Storm. You don't want that thing to get up to plus four or plus six. I'm just worrying you now. So we'll see how that goes with that Pokemon. And then last but not least, he has Dusclops. Has the ability to pass burns around, but we got... A lot of special attackers, you don't really mind that. If I had Mega Deancey, I could bounce back the Will-O-Wisp, but I don't have a Mega Deancey, so. All right, that's my analysis. If you enjoy that, just <laughs> be prepared for the battle, because it was pretty good. So let's get into this match, all right? I don't know this video is going to illustrate Incineroar much, because it is my first time using Incineroar. Uh, but we'll give it the old college try here. Uh, so I'm going to start out with Kogio, and my opponent is going to start out with Pikachu. He goes for the fake out on the first turn, which basically confirms that he is slower than I am. And so I'm going to stay in, knowing I will speed, go with the Choice Specs Secret Sword. And we just knock out Pikachu. I was hoping he would have a Focus Sash. And I could maybe, you know, I don't know. He, he doesn't have it, so I'm happy with that. Here comes Superior. We all know what this thing is going to do. I was really concerned if this thing was um, Choice Scarfed. Because if it's Scarfed, 
and he might be a train to my team. So we go against Zapdos, and he has really good special defense, which allows me to live two Leaf Storms. Of course, one of them is boosted from the contrary ability. He gets another boost. So now he's at plus four. This is scary. So I go with the Heat Wave. That's all I've got to hit Superior with. And we see he has leftovers. So seeing that he's not Scarfed, that is actually a huge uh, advantage for me. Uh, it will make things a lot easier. I can maybe outspeed him with my other Pokemon. Maybe Roserig. I don't know. Because Roserig, he's pretty fast. Yeah, Roserig is, what, base, I think, 130 speed? I don't know. I'm not 100%. But he is that fast. So I'm hoping I could outspeed it. But I, I kind of miscalculated a few things wrong there. Because I get hit by a Dragon Pulse. That's not good. But I very obviously live a plus four Dragon Pulse. How awesome is that? And we get to finish off Superior with a, a Sludge Bomb. I almost said Dragon Pulse, but that's not right, of course. And we see that I have the Black Sludge as a held item. He brings in Zubat, man. Of course, that's uh, Crobat, the evolved form of Zubat. And he goes with a U-turn there. I was hoping he would go with a Brave Bird. He wouldn't be taking that much, um, you know, recoil. But I think he was expecting a switch. So, here he brings in Gliscor. And this is awesome for me because I get switching priority. I'm going to go into Kill Dio. I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to go with the Icy Wang and knock this thing out, because I hate facing Gliscor. You guys saw me face Gliscor before, and oh my goodness, it's been a hassle. All these years of battling, Gliscor is still my number one hate when I'm battling. So, um, he does bring up the Icy Wing. He goes into Dust Clops, and, you know, Choice Specs, Icy Wing is going to do some damage, not a lot, but, you know, it's going to do something. But I don't want to stay in, I need to keep Keldeo. Now is a good time to use Incineroar. Um, number one, because I'm going to be dodging the will wisp and I'm going to, you know, kind of scare him out with the Darkest Lariat. I actually went with an Earthquake here, which is stupid. I should have just gone with the Darkest Lariat or maybe the Flare Blitz. But uh, yeah, I kind of do misplay with Incineroar, which sucks, because I don't really take much from the facade. So I'm thinking he's probably more defensively inclined instead of being offensive. That's from uh, Glasgow's standpoint, but man, if I just went for the Darkest Lariat or the Flare Blitz, I might have been able to do some heavy hitting here. But I'm just going to go for the Icy Wing now, and I'm going to knock out Gliscor. So that's all I had to do. I just had to bring more Ice types for the future. Because I can just knock out Gliscor whenever I feel like it. Anyway, so here's Buzzwool. I, I like this Pokemon. It's really good. Um, I, I, wanted to slow, I wanted to slow this thing down a little bit. Um, it'll make things a lot easier. Here he makes a great play, goes with a bulk up, and that's the kind of set that I have on my own Buzz Wool. I have a uh, bulk up and uh, reach life. I believe that's what he's going to go for here when I switch out into Gayansi. Gayansi is a great check to this thing, uh, so just going to Gayansi is a no brainer as far as things go. It actually does a lot of damage when it's at plus one. I'm really surprised, but still, it's a great switch. I'm going to go with a Protect, trying to see if he's going to change up moves or something. Probably expecting another switch out, or if he's going to reveal more coverage. He just keeps going for the Leech Life. That's fine. I'm going to outspeed it anyway, so it just doesn't matter. I should have just gone for the Moonblast right from the start instead of Protecting. But you never know. I got a critical hit. Does not matter. I'm just going to knock him out with a Life Orb boosted attack there. Here he goes into Dust Clops. And last time I went into Incineroar, so I was thinking he might predict that. And so instead of going into Incineroar, I'm going to switch out and go into Keldeo. But he makes the play of Will Wisp. That's fine. Like I said, uh, a lot of my special attackers 
Keldeo is one of them. He does not mind it. So, we're just gonna suck it for the team there. I guess. I don't know. She goes with a protect. I'm going to lock myself into Skull here. Because we all know that Superior is gone. Gliscor is gone. There's no need to go with another Icy Wind. So going for the choice back Skull. It's going to be Stab also. Times 1.5. More damage, and we get the burn on the dust crop. So if he has any physical moves, it's not gonna do very much. We see hex, and that's not a big deal, even though it's kind of boosted from the burn that I have going on there. It's still not doing enough. Anyway, so I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go into the hatchet this time, because he hasn't hit the battlefield once. I might as well do it now while I have while I have the chance. He has the mold breaker ability. He goes, he goes for another protect. I'm not sure why he could have missed it because it's a 50 50 if I stay in. I'm going to go with a Night Slash. No point in trying to set up against this thing, especially knowing that it has Will O Wisp. So I guess I, sh I should have gone into Incineroar instead of Hastress, but that's neither here nor there. We're reaching to the end of the battle here because this is his last Pokemon. All he has to do is go to Brave Bird and I can knock him out. He has a lot of recoil against him. So just letting him get hit with recoil and then finishing with the Outrage. Might as well do that, right? And I hope you guys enjoyed the match. That was a great victory for me. But I wanted to try out in Sydney work. It did not really work out in this video. So hopefully in the next video I work on that. But still, it was a great match. So thank you to my opponent who was a passerby. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you next time with another Wi-Fi battle video.